That's... Uh, that's not Cory Bear. Huh, right. Cory Bear's scarf was a gift I once gave to his mother. I use it now as a marker of sorts. My... my eyes must be going. <laughs> How could I not recognize my own son? <laughs> this decrepit body of mine! <sighs> ah, yes. It doesn't seem interested in us in the least. It seems intent on walking in that direction. Where could it be going? Yes. <laughs> the more we know about Hilly Churls, the better. Did it go in here? Hmm, well, uh, let's head in. What a ghastly place. Has it always existed. I, I swear I've never noticed it before. Huh. It looks like they're... Uh, worshipping. <laughs> sometimes uh, walking, sometimes kneeling in worship, and, and it appears to be in earnest. I've never seen anything like this in all my life. What in the world does this place conceal? Oh, there's only one way to find out. Is this a teleportation device? What energy is powering it? Whirling snow! 
How did I get on the ceiling? Did the room turn upside down, or... gravity itself? It seems like I need to find a place to insert the rune.
humans. Fate has not granted you the right to enter this place. You insist on an audience. Very well. Then I grant you the trial of destiny. Perfect being. I'm in awe. He had the most wondrous aura, a perilous yet beautiful power. Oh, truly mesmerizing. And yet, you were able to defeat him. Oh. Your strength is greater than I had imagined. <laughs> Let's continue on. I find myself growing more curious by the second end. More excited.
I think we've made it to the end. shall shed a tear at the end of time, as I gaze back upon your life. What just happened? <laughs> when I saw that thing, my my heart was instantly at peace. I I was overcome by a, a sense of awe or, or joy, perhaps. I am. I feel good. In fact, I I, I feel. Better than I did before I came in here. <laughs> How peculiar. Oh, ah. Uh, is that so? All right. As you wish. Bear. Oh, thank goodness. He's still okay. I have a strange feeling that what just happened was meant to be. For this to happen, right at the moment when I was dreading worshipping at a statue of the Seven, it's as if fate was calling to me. You, you say that I bowed before that thing, so perhaps it might be just as effective. Well, I have to try. No matter what, you said it yourself. I, I have to exhaust all options. <laughs> Bear. 
My dear son! You see? It worked! Kari Bear can speak again! Uh, where's... Mama? Mama is... Uh, Kari Bear, look at me! Do you know who I am? Of course. Your papa. <laughs> yes! Salvation! Sweet salvation! Yes! Yes! This is... This is what this feeling is! How do you feel, Kari Bear? Are you fully awake now? Yes. <sighs> It feels like I just woke up from a long, long sleep. I dreamed that I was hiding in a little room. I didn't dare go out the whole time, and I didn't want to either. Uh, wait. Uh, my body! What happened to me? Is this... Is this me? Papa? What's happened to me? Uh, it... Don't panic, son. It's just... While you were sleeping, we, we went into a fairy tale world. There's no more Conry uh, here, um, no more home, but, 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 do you know what that means? No more red sky, no more end of the world. In this world, you, you have to be a, a little monster, but, but you get to stay with Papa forever. Am I... Dead? No, 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 of course not. Look, Kari Bear, you, you still have Mama's scarf on your arm. That means she's watching over you, protecting you. So how could you be dead? Yes, really. You've only just woken up, and, and this must all be very confusing for you. Just rest here for now. Things will get better. Oh, oh, and, um, you have to promise me something. Never take off your mask. Understand, whatever happens, you mustn't take it off. Okay, Papa. I won't. I promise. Not since that day have I been so glad as I am now. I can't believe this is really happening. I knew that placing my hope in the Seven was a waste of time. <laughs> I, I even worshipped at one of their statues like a, like a common fool. Never before have I humiliated myself like that. Once a murderer, always a murderer. <laughs> I was naive to think that the gods who conspired against us would ever offer redemption. 
but the god we saw in that cave. Oh, now, that was a truly mighty god. Nothing like one of the seven. That wondrous power, it was truly enchanting. I... <laughs> Surely that that must have been the reason I bowed down. Hmm. Now then, after one beseeches a god, and the god responds by answering their prayers, should they uh um, do something to show their devotion? Piety is hardly my area of expertise. <laughs> But surely I should honor the god that has honored my wishes. A sinner? Oh, don't be absurd. You, you don't know a single thing about him. How dare you utter such blasphemy? You and I have both witnessed his divine power. When has the Seven worked a miracle like this before, hmm? Never! He is a god mightier than they, and yet you would call him a sinner! Oh, preposterous! No matter. <laughs> Believe what you will. You cannot shake my faith. I am going to pay my respects with or without you. <laughs>